Good morning, T-Birds. I'm Gabriel Adetta. And I'm Sydney Ryder. And, and you're, you're watching CTV. CTV. competing with others from the region. Here's Aaron with more on the story. Akadek is a very challenging competition here at Coronado. They qualify for state this year. Akadek is a competition over 10 subjects in school. Uh, we also do like a few speeches and uh, we have to study and it's based on a specific subject, like a specific area of, of history or whatever. And then we do 10 separate subjects that are related to that. Well, this is my first year going to state and even being an Akadek, so I'm very excited to see how it'll play out and if we'll be able to place. In the academic state competition, they have 10 roles to play and each role has a different subject. Renata placed first in region this last competition, which was our regional competition. So they're going on to state at the end of February. So we're um, really excited for them. Um, I think the whole team as a whole, we're all very excited to be able to participate in state because when our first scrimmage came upon, we were very nervous because Franklin beat us and was ahead of us. But recently at our last scrimmage, we were able to beat them by a few more points. Um, I'm nervous. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, what I hear is that all the schools tie for perfect scores every year. So it's basically impossible for us to win unless we get a perfect score. This is Aaron Aurora reporting from CTV. Back to you. After this commercial break, we'll have Ethan with sports. Hi there, welcome to Veggies. This is Ethan with sports. The boys varsity basketball team has been preparing for their rivalry game against Franklin today. Here is Josh Shapiro with more on the story. With a big win over Franklin in their first matchup, the basketball team looks to dominate in the second as well. Um, I'm sure they'll make some adjustments for us as we will make some for them, but at the end of the day I think we're a way better team than them so I don't think we'll have a problem beating them. It's never easy to beat Franklin. It's a rivalry that's been going on since 1996. So it's something that uh, we are preparing for, and we know that it's going to be uh, a very difficult game. The upcoming game carries bragging rights and playoff implications. You can't take any team lightly. Uh, every win is precious, and so we're going in to this game with that mindset uh, that we have to win it. Um, the game is really important, not only because um, for our for our district record, but you know it's Franklin after all, and. Beating them is always important for us, so we look forward to it. The game takes place tonight at 7 o'clock at Franklin High School. This has been Josh Peer reporting for CTV. Back to you. In other sports news, the boys varsity basketball team plays at 6 at Franklin, followed by the girls at 7.30. Also, our tennis team plays in the Montwood Andrews Tournament this Friday and Saturday, so good luck to them. That's all with sports. Back to you. The annual Mr. Tiber took place this past Wednesday. It is a pageant for juniors and senior boys. Here's Hannah with more on the story. Coronado is hosting its annual talent show between the junior and senior boys for the title of Mr. T-Bird. Mr. T-Bird is a competition between, you know, juniors and seniors where it's basically a competition, you know, everything from school spirit, talent, skit. It's just kind of, you know, a way to have fun and just kind of there's the competition aspect to see who is the most Coronado, I guess. The reason I got involved in Mr. T-Bird is because ever since freshman year, I've been going to all of the competitions and um, just seeing all the other guys perform their skits and talents and so I've always wanted to compete in it and so that's why I'm going to compete this year and I'm really excited for the 31st. 
Well, I'll be hosting, um, but everyone else will be doing, there starts with an opening number that will be choreographed from some dance students. Then there will be a talent portion, there's going to be a skit that they're all going to pre prepare, and they'll even be sharing a pickup line that they have, and they'll just be going through that. So uh, if you win, you go down in Coronado history and you get a parking spot, and I'm really pumped for that parking spot, so that's pretty much why I'm doing this. Um, senior exec is putting it on and all the ticket proceeds will go to the senior project graduation. Mr. T Bird will be held in the Fine Arts Auditorium at 6.30 on January 31st. This has been Hannah Gann reporting for CTV. Now back to you. Thanks for tuning in T Birds. Make sure to join us next week. I'm Sydney Ryder. And I'm Gabriel Have, Have a, a great, great weekend. weekend.